since I found you. The key to my future. A future where I will be king of the world! <laughs> It's time to learn the top five trendiest ways to rock a pashmina for fall. <laughs> Number one is called the croissant. Twist this baby around your neck like so. Whoa, now that's what I call cutting edge. <laughs> Toads, like who knew yummy pastries could be so inspiring in the fashion world? And now for look number two, the schooner. With just a few twists, your bad hair days will be setting sail forever. Hmm? Oh, okay. Who books are no cell phones in class, school? Uh, Professor P, I think it's your phone that's ringing. <gasps> Sweet balls of yarn. Huh? Students, I have some very exciting news. I submitted the class's recent work to an international design competition, and it appears that we have won! <laughs> no way! For real, these? That's amazing! It's no surprise to me, Prof. My designs are killer! So, what exactly did we win, Professor? <gasps> Hold on. It says here that the entire class has been chosen to go on a trip to France! This is amazing! <laughs> and that's not all, no! Our ultimate destination will be the Palace of Versailles, where we'll be attending a major fashion event showcasing the clothing of Marie Antoinette! <laughs> and since it looks like we're departing this afternoon, I guess it's class dismissed! Yeah! See you at the airport at 4 p.m. sharp! and congratulations on your big win in fashion design class. But how could you know? We, like, just found out a minute ago. Because it's my job to know everything about everything. And that includes your trip to Versailles. So, does this mean we can go? Of course. Wow, Jerry. Thanks for having our backs. You're quite welcome. And just to show you how supportive I am, may I present you with these gift bags, chock full of goodies that are sure to come in handy on your trip. Oh. Thanks, Jer. I don't care what Clover says. I think you're a pretty good boss. Is that so? So, um, I guess it's goodbye then, Jerry. <laughs> Indeed it is. Or as they say in France, ladies, bon voyage. At Ta-ta. Versailles is one of the largest palaces in the world. It has more than 700 rooms, over 2,000 windows, and all sorts of hidden tunnels. Oh, what is the holdup? We should have totally taken off by now. We're just waiting for... Put some muscle into it, Trent! I've seen more bicep on my granny! And you better make sure that truck makes it on the plane! My entire wardrobe is in there! taking forevs. Clover, we've only been in the air for 15 minutes. <sighs> exactly. Shouldn't we be there by now? This is a commercial jet. It doesn't fly at whoop speed. <sighs> Phooey, I'm antsy for Francie. Hey, speaking of whoop, I wonder if any of Jer's goodies will entertain me. Oh, no, he didn't. What's wrong? What's wrong is the so-called gifts that Jerry gave us all double as whoop gadgets. The Whatever Be Gone Vanishing Cream not only takes care of blemishes, but can also momentarily disintegrate solid surfaces. 
The wind glider berets are not only fashionable, but allow us to fly. And the laser beam eye mask can soothe the peepers during long flights and emit a powerful laser beam when necessary. That tricky trickster. He'd better not be thinking of sending us on any missions while we're in France. Turbulence, girls, something is definitely up. Uh. Well, it better not be some crazy baddie sabotaging our trip. Everyone, remain calm. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'll tell that to my pants. They look like a circus tent. Oh. Yes, Captain? We're experiencing problems due to a shifting of the weight in the cargo hold. Probably due to a piece of oversized luggage moving around. Then I guess there's only one thing to do. Get that cute flight attendant's digits before we're all swimming in the ocean? <laughs> nope. Jettison Mandy's duds on the double. All right, spies. Now all we gotta do is exit the aircraft so we can reach the cargo hold from outside. Uh, uh, great idea, Sammy. But how are we gonna do that? <gasps> the whatever be gone vanishing cream ought to do the trick. Awesome! Maybe Jerry giving us these lame gifts was a good thing! Because these wind glider berets are way cool! Laser beam eye mask, do your thing! Mr. August, the palace representative. Welcome to glorious Versailles. Oh, I'm Professor Plunkett, and these are my students. Let me tell you how positively thrilled we are to be here. And I'm thrilled to have you, which is why you'll be staying at the palace itself, as well as being my guests of honor at tonight's Marie Antoinette fashion show. Oh, right. <laughs> Since my intern here lost my luggage, I could really use an outfit to bum around the palace in. I'll have a reproduction of one of Marie Antoinette's favorite ensembles waiting for you in your room. Now, if you'll follow me, into the palace we go. Hurry up and get settled, everyone. We've got a big day ahead of us. Totally now, Marie Antoinette's bedroom. <laughs> and check it out. You can see all sorts of cool Versailles stuff from up here. The lake, the labyrinth, and even the Petit Trianon, the private villa where the queen used to hang out. All I see are a bunch of statues with major muscles. <laughs> That's Neptune, and Saturn, and Bacchus, and Enceladus. They're ancient gods, Clover. Well, whoever they are, they're seriously hot. And so is this room. Score! I guess our wish finally came true. For once, we actually get to enjoy France. Totally! It's goodbye spying, hello vacay. Ah! Ah! 
Joke, Jer. We were just getting ready to settle into some serious decadence when you whooped us. Hmm. Sorry to rain on your parade of pampering, girls, but something has come up. Oh, and by the way, great job on the plane earlier. <laughs> I need you to check out a rather disconcerting break-in at the Palais de Luxembourg in Paris ASAP. You know, since you're in the neighborhood? And what exactly do you mean by disconcerting, Jer? The palace contains a top-secret vault, completely unknown to the public. It's filled with some of France's rarest antiquities from the royal court of the 18th century. And though the building's owners are certain that someone was in the vault, what they aren't sure of is if anything was taken. A secret vault sounds cool and all, but couldn't you just send one of your Woop Paris agents to check it out? Like Melanie, or Dom, or Magali, or Anne-Sophie? I would, but at present they're all busy investigating an evil macaroon manufacturer who's assaulting the world of fine confections with his sinister cookies. Ah! Fine, Jerry, but you totally have to make it up to us. I already have. You don't think scoring Marie Antoinette's room at Versailles was an accident, do you? Hmm? Uh, oh. uh, Gadget time. Today, you have the Incredishrink compact hairdryer, an M-ray contact lens, a pair of heat sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses, some pogo boots, the hedge in a hurry seedlings, some free spray breath spray, and the mini mechanical retriever falcon. Whoa! That's an awesome list of gadgets, Jer. It's like you saved up all the best stuff for this mission. Use them well. Au revoir, les filles. Ah! Well, let's get on it so we can solve this mission and get back to our tricked out crash pad at Versailles. Who would have guessed a nice place like this would have secrets? Shame on you! Huh? I say we take the low road. <laughs> Keep their grates on lockdown here. Hmm. The Incredishrink compact hair dryer should do the trick. Oh. Awesome! Not only does this gadget make us totally cute size, but it seriously refreshes the hair. I just love the imitation robe a la Polonaise Mr. Auguste lent you. You look stunning. Simply stunning. I know. It comes naturally. So, what about my royal meal, Professor P? Ah, well, Mr. Auguste has been kind enough to invite us to an early dinner at La Petite Trianon, Marie Antoinette's private villa. Looks like we are missing three students. Uh, where are Sam, Clover, and Alex? Eh, don't sweat it, Teach. I've been trying to lose those losers for years. But they always turn up again sooner or later. I suppose you're right. No cause for alarm. Chop, chop, students. Keep moving. Did you hear that? Low profile where we get the lay of the land. That shouldn't be hard. Profiles don't get much lower than ours. something in the cards for this guy. Now's our chance. Run! Okay, reverse us, Sammy.
say we let the Emre contact Len settle this timeless debate? Aha! Hmm. Uh -huh. There it is! Oh, great! But finding the vault is one thing, finding a way to get inside is another! Way to go, Alex! Oh, it was nothing. It's just what I do. Whoa! What is this place? This place is more crowded than Clover's shoe closet. How are we supposed to know if anything's missing? We won't, but the heat sensor 6000 infrared motion detector sunglasses might. Damn! Footprints leading to that table! Where what looks like a key used to be? Huh. I wonder what it opens. I don't know, but I'll send a picture of this to Jerry. I think we've done all we can do here. I say we head back to Versailles. <gasps> Doubt they have taxis at Versailles, Mandy. What is that freaky noise? If it's a horse carriage, stop them! My feet are killing me! Whatever you say, Mandy. <gasps> uh Better get out of here fast. Ah! 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 Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready for a shower and some power napping. Yeah! Huh? That sounded like Mandy. Then again, it could have just been a bird. There's like exotic birds here and stuff, right? I'm with Alex. I say we take a snooze. <coughs> Sleep will have to wait. Ah! Oh! Mandy, are you okay? She's out cold. And where's Trent? She never lets him out of her sight. <gasps> We'll be right back. Okay, where's the express elevator to the roof? On our feet! Welcome to the rescue! 